how continuous extraction is carried out if the extractor is first heavier than water and secondly lighter than water. If the distribution of partition coefficient is small, we have to carry out multiple extraction but multiple extraction brings number of complication and it is very tedious. And this is the advantage of using continuous extraction process. So let's talk about the first case scenario. When the extracting solvent is heavier than water, it is consists of a tube and reservoir. The reservoir contains the same organic solvent. The tube is fitted with the condenser. The solvent in the reservoir heated slowly, which converted into vapors, and then condensed back to liquid, which is heavy and descend while moving through vapors. The solute gets transferred from aqueous to organic and at the bottom we get solution of solute in organic. So the level increases and corresponding to the solution which falls in the reservoir. This continues the maximum amount of solute is transferred from aqueous to organic layer. Then by opening the stopper at the bottom, we can separate organic and aqueous layer. Then solute can be extracted from the organic layer. On the other hand, in the second case scenario, when organic solvent is lighter than aqueous, in this case, reservoir contains organic solvent, which on warming is converted into vapors and condensed by the condenser, which descends into a bubbler type of funnel. This liquid goes to the bottom, but as it is light, so it ascends and passes through the solution. And here the solute gets transferred from the aqueous layer to the organic layer. So the level of solution increases and the corresponding gets transferred to the reservoir. Hello guys, thank you for watching. This is Dr. Edison Hang. If you like this video, don't forget to share with your friends who may like this. And subscribe and follow the following Instagram, Facebook and YouTube channel. If not, I will see you in next video. Peace!